Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Braderman Studios, and in this video I want to go over bit shifting because uh, I've seen it before and it's interesting to know, um, and you don't see it very much out in the wild uh, when you're just messing around. So I just thought it would be a nice fun topic to kind of just do. So here I am in Visual C++, and uh, I'm going to get started. So first I'm going to include my IO stream. Now I'm going to using namespace std and I'm going to set up my int main void is fine. We're not going to take any arguments. Uh, at the end we're just going to return 0 and we're going to do a cn.git. So we pause the uh, console screen on our screen. So uh, let's uh, let's go over what uh, bit shifting is. So we have a uh, we have a left shift and a right shift. They are kind of representative of their direction by the arrows. Um, you also know this as the stream operator for whenever you're doing like a C out. Um, whoa, sorry about that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you how to use them. So we're going to first set up an int and we're just going to call it uh, x. We're going to set it equal to 16 because uh, we all know 16 uh, as a one of those magical computer numbers 16, 32, 128, 256, all that stuff. Uh, and then we're going to create a second number int y. We're just going to set it equal to 0 for now because we're going to mess around with it. And we're going to see out, uh, there's the stream operator, we're going to see out the y and then end the line. Alright, so if we do this uh, and just run it, we're going to get our, our 0 on the screen obviously. So let's figure out what bit shifting does. <laughs> So I'm going to take x, uh, I'm going to set y equal to x, and I'm going to shift to the left. Uh, let's do 1, just for now. And we're going to run this. And it is 32, and you can kind of see the pattern. Uh, it's kind of what I was saying, 16, 32. Uh, you want to guess at what's going to be next. Let's add a 2, and there you go, 64. We all know 64-bit. Let's go 3. And 128, we can see it's just going right up the line, and we can expect 256 out of 4. So there it is, 256. So what's happening with this number when we bit shift? Well, a uh, representation of our bits, our 16-bit number is in binary, and that has, uh, uh, this is in 30, well, we're doing this in 32-bit, by the way, it's a 32-bit integer. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, that was wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So uh, just as a visual representation, let's say we have uh, a 1 here at the end. So, so we have the integer 1. So uh, when we bit shift to the left, we take that 1 and we say, all right, I'm going to put it over there. And when we bit shift it again, we say, okay, I'm going to put it over there. You can see that it just moves that 1. It's okay, it's going to go over there. Uh, it, it just moves that one. Let's say we have a couple more. Let's just add some bits in here. Uh, so we have uh, some of these ones, and I do a left shift. What's going to happen? This one's going to go there. This one's going to go there. And this one is going to go there. So you can see they just shift over. Uh, so uh, what is this equation in let's let's say human terms? What's this equation in human terms? Well, uh, what it is, it's y. Uh, is because what we're doing is we're setting y equal to uh, then we're going to take x multiplied by uh, 2 to the nth. So since we're in binary we know that binary is counted with two numbers 0 1 and uh, we uh, like how we go to 10 we go 0 we go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and we reset 10 11 12 34 15 we use those same 10 numbers uh, 0 through 9 and uh, with binary they use the same two numbers 0 through 1 uh, and with hexadecimal they use 0 through f <laughs> uh, a through f being kind of what you'll find 10 through 16 and uh, our uh, our base 10 um, stuff so without getting too complex uh, let's just say we're, what we're doing here is we're taking y and we're setting it equal to x uh, times 2 to the nth and 2 to the nth is this bit shift um, so if if we weren't if computers weren't binary and they're base 10 uh, this equation would be 10 to the nth but since they're binary uh, we're working with 2 to the nth and nth being 4 so 2 times 4 
Uh, so, uh, so you can see here if we have 16 here, let me pop this guy up. If we have 16 there, 16, and then we go ahead and uh, actually let's do this other calculation first. We do two uh, to the to the fourth. So let's just do two. Where's that? Raised to the fourth. We have 16. So when we multiply uh, 16 by 16, we get 256. And lo and behold, when we run this, we get 256. So uh, that is the left shift. Let's figure out what the right shift is. As you can guess, you're going to wind up doing the same thing, uh, except in reverse. So we're just going to copy this and paste it down there. We're going to set y equal to x uh, right shift and 2. Now, uh, w what we're going to see is on the second line, it's going to be going down to 4 because uh, we're no longer using this equation. When we're doing a right shift, we're not doing multiplied by 2 to the nth, we're doing divided by 2 to the nth. So let's open up our calculator and let's do 2 to the nth. In this case, it's 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. And as we know, we have 16 up, so 16 divided by 4 is 4. And if we made it 3, it would be 8, uh, right? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we divide 16 by 8, we should get 2. So let's make this 3. That will make it 8. And there we go. It is now 2. So uh, just to give you the visual diagram again, so I don't have to hear this thing in my head all the time. Let's close that. OK, so let's uh, use our visual diagram here. When we right shift, we're taking all these. Let's say we do a right shift operator. We're moving the 1 over to the right. So this will be zero, 1, that'll be 0. Uh, this will be 1, that'll be 0. And let's make 0, 1. That's so, so you can see it shifted all these bits over to the right. Uh, remember that this is not the this is not 16, by the way. This is just a visual representation. So uh, that is left shift and right shift. So if you ever want to, I don't know, <laughs> do left shift and right shift to get these things, um, to get this e kind of equation, uh, your, your number multiplied by 2 to the nth, which you, you may need in some rare cases, or uh, if you're working really low level, I mean, you're going to use it a lot more than if you were just doing high level programming. But anyways, that's the coolness of left shift and right shift, and there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with bits, but this one's just going to be left shift and right shift. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you think. So until next time.